Hi, I'm Pure Excellence, the most important political mind this side of the United States. But let's just explore this idea. I'm gonna pass it to my homeboy, James. James, go ahead and take this away. Four, the Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents, will the Supreme Court take on three cases connected to Trump's finances in 2021? What do you need to know? The years-long legal showdown over Donald Trump's income tax return may finally pertain to an end in 2020 after the Supreme Court handles three cases concerning the president's monetary records. Trump is the very first commander-in-chief in years not to voluntarily make his tax records available to the public. He's also the only president in contemporary history not to divest his service entities upon going into office, which has raised a number of ethical and legal concerns throughout his presidency. One case involves a Manhattan District Attorney investigation into the Trump Organization's potential offenses of New York state law, such as poorly taping wealth-priced votes to prevent paying taxes or insurance coverage. The District Attorney is looking for eight years of Trump's tax returns. The other two cases involve subpoenas provided by House Democrats who are seeking records from the President, his kids and his businesses as part of examinations into possible disputes of interest and foreign influence. Trump and his legal group have argued that these requests for his financial records amount to politically determined attacks, and his legal representatives say that Trump ought to be safeguarded from criminal examinations through presidential resistance. The arguments are set up for March, and a choice might be reached by June 2020, which will be ideal in the middle of the governmental election. Here's a breakdown of each case with everything you require to understand. Manhattan District Attorneys are checking out hush money payments made to two ladies who declared they had affairs with Trump. Detectives are looking at why the president and his company, the Trump Organization, repaid his attorney Michael Cohen for payments he made to adult movie star Stormy Daniels right before the 2016 election. As part of the probe, Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance subpoenaed Mazars USA, Trump's accounting firm, for documents associating with the questions. The Supreme Court will have to decide whether Mazars USA has to react to the grand jury subpoena obtained by Vance. The Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals previously ruled that the accounting company had to comply with the Manhattan District Attorney's request to turn over the records. In this case, Trump asked for that the Supreme Court get included after the lower court ruled against him. On November 14, the President petitioned the High Court to hear the case. That the Constitution would empower thousands of state and local prosecutors to involve the President in criminal procedures is inconceivable, Trump's legal group wrote in the petition. They added that the practical threat that specify criminal procedure positions to a president cannot be overstated. Trump has consistently publicly denied the supposed relationships with the two females. Cohen, who was involved in hush money payments to former Playboy design Karen McDougal, is serving a three-year prison sentence for a slew of criminal offenses consisting of tax fraud, bank scams and lying to Congress. Home Committee subpoenas to Deutsche Bank, Capital One, your House Financial Services Committee has subpoenaed a broad series of financial documents from two banks that have dealt with Trump and members of his family. The committee say they need the files from Deutsche Bank and Capital One as part of an investigation into efforts by foreign entities to affect the U.S. political procedure to determine whether foreign representatives have financial take advantage of over the president. Donald Trump SCOTUS Monetary Cases President Donald Trump makes a video call to the troops stationed worldwide at the Mar-a-Lago Estate in Palm Beach, Florida, on December 24, 2019, Trump has actually asked the Supreme Court to weigh in on several court cases asking for access to his financial records. The subpoenas look for the president's bank and brokerage account records, loan records, credit lines and other files from bank employees that handle Trump and his family. Trump and several members of his household sued the two banks this year seeking to obstruct them from responding to the subpoenas. The president's legal team has actually argued that the subpoenas issued by House Democrats had no legitimate or legal function. However, a federal appeals court ruled in December that House Democrats might impose the subpoenas. The committee's interests in pursuing their constitutional legislative function is a much more considerable public interest than whatever public interest in here is in avoiding the danger of a chief executive's diversion emerging from disclosure of documents showing his personal financial deals, Judge John Newman wrote in the ruling. Home Committee investigating whether Trump improperly inflated, deflated assets, the third case also includes a subpoena released to Mazars USA, Trump's accounting firm, by the House Oversight Committee. The committee has argued that it requires the documents since they can clarify whether existing monetary disclosure and ethics laws are working. House Democrats issued the subpoena in April after Cohen testified prior to Congress that Trump had actually poorly inflated and deflated quotes of his properties and liabilities. 
Cohen stated that monetary figures were adjusted to make Trump look like a better credit risk or to decrease his insurance coverage premiums. Late Rep. Elijah Cummings, who was the head of the Oversight Committee at the time the subpoena was provided, wrote in a memo that the demand was also based on corroborating files that raise grave questions about whether the president has been precise in his financial reporting. The subpoena was promoted by the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit in October. Contrary to the president's arguments, the committee possesses authority under both your home rules and the Constitution to release the subpoena, and Mazars must comply, Judge David Tattel composed in the ruling.